Good morning, boys and girls and fellow travelers. How are you doing? I hope you're all doing great. I am in the state of Tranganu, famed for its beautiful beaches and crystal clear water. Tranganu has long been a fisherman's paradise, a biker's paradise, and a cyclist's paradise because of its long coastline, beautiful, beautiful scenery, and unique food. Tranganu has always been a mysterious state for me. This trip, I'm going to get to know Tranganu. I'm going to taste its unique food and get to know its fabulous culture. I'm already at my first stop here in Bukit Kloang. Bukit Kloang is situated in the northern part of Trenggalu and you hike up half an hour to this Bukit Kloang trail and I heard the view is spectacular. It's early morning now which is the best time to hike so let's go and hike and check out the view. I think I'm almost there. I can't believe I just finished that. Well, that was certainly worth the hike. I have, I have never seen views like this in my own country. Wow. Welcome to Tranganu. That's the beach. And that's the seafood I'm heading to. Many visitors visit Trenganu just to eat in Warong Botnong. They have the reputation of serving the freshest seafood in the state of Trenganu. They have been in operation for over 20 years. One of the highlights of their meal is the giant squid, which are very much hand washed and prepared. But they are, of course, very much famous for their ikan celup tepung. Now, celup tepung is a kind of deep fried Malay style that is always used on seafood. The kitchen of Warung Port Nong is said to have produced the best celup tepung deep fried seafood in the country. Just look at those golden deep fried ikan celup tepung. I cannot wait! I managed to find a seat for my sauce, that's the famous Bat Nong sauce. And here it is, they give you a pair of scissors. And I'm ready to dig in. Mm. Feel the prawn of that. <laughs> mm. It's been thoroughly dipped and now to my mouth. Mm. I mean, the sauce 
I don't know what sauce is this, but this sauce is incredible. It's sweet, but not spicy dish. You can taste the freshness of this fish. It's really, really fresh. Mm. It's very, very juicy. And it just tastes incredible. To calm my stomach down from all those deep fried food, I am visiting Lata Kolam Air Eco Park, which is about an hour drive from the town of Besut. The main attraction is, of course, the waterfall of Lata Kolam Air, and I am going in no matter what. I hope one day, somehow, I always will meet again Cause I've been wondering why we still play as we were friends I hope somehow, I always will meet again It's time to care, we should just share Love one day Trangano people are super proud of their catch from the sea and they have created many ways to eat their fish. One of the ways are fried fish fritted and I'm right outside the town of Sitio here in Bayou Fish Kropo and this is the place where you get your fried fish fritted. As you can see the line here is up really long. It smells incredible. I'm going for a try. Garoppo leko or fish sausage is a traditional Malay fish cracker snack originating here in the state of Trangano. It is made from fish and sago flour and seasoned with salt and sugar. There are two types of keropo leko. The first one is keropo leko goreng, which means deep fried as this lady here is doing The second type is Kropo Leko Bayu Rebus Rebus means you just steam it with hot water and boil cooked it just like this lady here demonstrates this karapo. So this is what it looks like and they give you a special sauce. Open that special sauce which I'm gonna do now. You deep it into this special sauce here that they give you. It's kind of a chili sauce I think. Mm. It's so good. Oh. Love it. I have arrived in Kuala Trangano. Wake up especially early this morning because I'm going to have the most famous dish in Trangano, which is nasi dagang. It is a kind of nasi lama version of the East Coast. And I heard this stall has incredible nasi dagang. And the rice tastes very different. It's much more crunchier, softer the rice. Now this is what I call a hearty breakfast. Oh,
here it is, the famous Te Ice Buey, which is Te Ice uh, Bubble. It is really massive, this thing, look at that. And that's my drink. And for my last jumbo, I've gotten the fish. God, the fish sauce is kind of like a fermented durian sauce. It's pretty incredible. For my nasi champor, I have squid, I have chicken, and I have some beef curry. It looks really, really red, right? This is really, really epic. The best nasi champor I have ever had. that's it that's a wrap for me here in Trenganu I'm standing right in front of the beautiful crystal moss I think I think this moss is the most beautiful moss I have ever seen here in Malaysia it's early in the morning and the Sun is shining on it and it's shining and it's shimmering it is just breathtaking. I really have to plan for my return here in Trenganu because I am so in awe of this state. The food is delicious. The scenery was just spectacular. And of course, the beaches and the islands in Trenganu are really worth seeing. So I hope you visit Trenganu, which is a very unique and special state here in Malaysia. Until my next video, bye. Oh, 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 oh,